Hey guys, Mike here at Amish Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. All right, well today a kind of peculiar request. Uh, I received a question how to model a vintage scoreboard and not necessarily the board but how to display the numbers, okay? So this is what I came up with. What we're going to do is we're going to take a uh, polygon uh, cube, make sure that it's square obviously we're going to hit R, we're going to squish that down a bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a grid that um, contains five by seven blocks, if you will. Okay. So we're going to move to our top view and we're going to hit control D to duplicate. We're going to hit W and we're going to pull it over and keep just a little bit of distance between the two. Okay. Hit Shift D, Shift D, Shift D until you have five of these guys and then select them. Control D, move them down. Make sure you got roughly the same distance and hit Shift D, Shift D, Shift D, Shift D, Shift D until you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to select those. That will be one. Um, position or one number if you will and we'll just move that over and then we're going to control D to move that out to let's say right there and then we're going to do uh, three four five six seven eight nine and ten all right now now for the boring part and for that, I'll pause the video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mark all the spaces on each board that you need to display the correct numbers. Okay, be back with you guys in a sec. All right, guys. Well, this is the number layout. Uh, like I said, a grid of five by seven. And the reason why I used individual uh, squares is you kind of want to see these lines in between. Okay. So what we're going to do next is we're just going to create a simple backplate for this. We'll take a polygon plane, hit R, scale that out, stretch that out. And in our attribute editor, we're just going to set this to one by one. That's fine. And we're just going to texture this just for fun. Okay. So you don't really need to stick around if this is all you want to know about this topic. But like I said, it's kind of an odd request, but nevertheless, it should look cool once we texture it. So we got that. Let's see how that is sitting. So we'll hit W. We'll bring that down right there. And then I'm just going to take the whole thing and uh, let's see whether I want to use a different color for that. Okay, assign new material, Lambert, and I'm just going to use this as color markers. This is not going to be the actual color. Okay, I'm going to drag select everything. I'm going to go to file, export selection, and I'll just call this uh, scoreboard OBJ. And I'll save that on my desktop. And then we'll just skip to a key shot. Be back in a sec. All right, guys. Well, <clears throat> here we have our model. Uh, so what we're going to do next is we're going to add some color to this guy. So what I'm going to do for the back plate is I'll just go with a black plastic, but something that is, you know, not shiny. Let's do, let's see something like this there we go and then for our numbers we'll take a clear plastic and we'll do white right there and then for the uh, the back drop there we'll do another black plastic but we'll make that more Reflective. Let's see. Yeah, 
should be in there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And then we're going to double click on this material. And what we're going to do is we are going to look up the material properties. Let's see what we got. We'll look it up in our scene. Let's double click on that and let's see what we got. Just looking for a setting here. Okay. So instead of material type plastic transparent, we're going to change that to a missive. And we're going to bump up that value to about 30. And then we'll find a nice angle. Something like so. We're going to, let's see, let's find a nice interior background. We'll do this. Maybe not. Maybe outside looks a bit cooler. Uh, let's see, outdoor. Just see if we can find something cool here. Maybe even indoor. I think the light will look pretty cool. Okay. So let's set up some lighting. We're going to go with a full simulation. Not quite sure if that's the best light though. So just bear with me while I uh, kind of tweak that. So it's kind of a thing to see what's going to work best. Yeah, let's give that a try. All right. So with that, um, I'm going to go to my backdrop and I'm going to use this. So my lighting is still intact. There we go. Just going to do a quick check on this material here. All right, and let's give this a try. So we'll save this out on the desktop. And let's do that. All right, I'll pause the video. See you guys in a sec. Okay, guys, um, I just aborted the render because I want to change the color of the actual letters just to make it pop a little bit more. So what we'll do is we'll do something blue maybe not that dark yeah. let's try to keep it fairly close to white okay we'll do that all right let's make sure we still have emissive selected and the intensity looks good all right so let's give that another go okay see you guys in a sec All right, guys, well, I opened uh, the final render in Photoshop and, uh, you know, it's nothing special, but you can see the effect and uh, hopefully this will help you out if you ever decide to model a scoreboard. So at least you have a reference on how to set up the numbers. All right. Well, that said, thank you guys for watching and I'd love to see you guys again.